Hey y'all, it's me Rodney. It's me Missy. And we're live today and we have this desk that I've been sitting on for a hot minute. And we are going to decoupage it and we held a vote for it. So, um, but I'm going to show y'all the paper suit. On Facebook, yeah. That's kind of like helped me pick a paper because I have two beautiful papers that I'm wanting to decoupage this part with. Um, and I'm going to paint the seat in the top. Um, because I think it would be really cute on a porch and repurposed as like a plant stand or something like that. But first, what I want to show you is the Easter decoupage papers that we just released online, right? Yep. yep. So it's a bundle pack and you can get them for $18.95. $18.95. All right. bundles get, are $18.95. Right. So you'll get all of these papers in this bundle pack. So I'm going to show you these. Can yeah. is it Right. So this is the first one. That's the second one. No oh, new subscriber, Beth Ellen. Oh, hi, Beth. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, Thanks for thank joining you. the, the uh, Rustic Relics page and then, or channel. Channel. <laughs> Sorry about that. And that's the third one. Now, y'all let me know what y'all think about these Easter bunnies. because uh, This is the fourth one. I love this one. Them ones was a lot of work. And this is the fifth one. It's got the um, all kinds of little three bunnies in it and the eggs. How do you like the scrolling on the edges? I love all the scrolls on the edges, yeah. So, again, that's your first one. All right, here we go. Second. Margie, how are you doing today? Third. Hey, Judy. Hi, Sandy. Karen, hey. Fourth. Donna, good morning. And or the fifth one. Noon -ish. noon ish. Good noon ish. I'll show you these again if you missed them um, in the first half or whatever, because I know we kind of go fast through it or whatever. But again, um, five pack of Easter decoupage papers um, online at roastyrelics.com for $18.95. Judy said, cute little bunny. Sandy yeah. said, those are so cool. Natalie Keplinger said, hi, Rodney, Missy, and y'all just hi. signed in. I love what you're showing us. Thank you, Natalie. Yeah, so um, I'm excited to do some Easter crafts with those. I think um, I think those will be fun, fun, fun. But in today's project, we're going to be using Dixie Bell rice paper, um, and I have two. And like I said, like I posted it on Facebook, and I was like, "Help me pick a paper." And the majority of everybody picked the flowers. So what I'm wanting to do is decoupage this back seat um, with this paper. And then paint this, this green color, and we're using a different green color that I've never used, but I feel like it goes really well with these papers. It's Dixie Bell's chalk paint um, evergreen. So it's just a really bright, vibrant green. And I think it would look really good for summertime and spring and summertime. And I think it would be a lot and of fun. It kind of pulls from the leaves on the It image. does. It pulls from the leaves in this, so it will make this pop, and then this will pop. It's going to be a very... Um, vibrant uh, yeah. piece, I think. I, th I think, but I think because it's a unique thing, it's an old time desk. Um, I think it is a fun piece to be fun with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So this is the paper that the majority on Facebook voted. This is the other paper that I absolutely love, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But it has the greens and it has the hummingbird and a lemon on it. It's really pretty too, if I can spread it. She was originally going to use it on a dry sink. I was, yeah, I had a piece and I thought I was going to use it, but I, I kept on, I just wasn't, I was like, I don't think this paper belongs on that piece of furniture. I, I don't think it's the right furniture for it. So um, I kind of backed out of it and just repainted it a different color. Uh, but... I, when I saw when I grabbed this piece, I was like, "Ooh!" And then this paper, I kept on going back and forth. So, this is the second paper that I was trying to figure out if I was going to use or if I was going to use the flowers. Now, I did have some votes for this one, but the majority of everybody picked the flowers. So, Margie said, "Love the roses." The roses. Natalie said that would be beautiful in a picture frame. This would the hummingbird one. Yeah, if we had like a large frame. Yeah. Is which I do have a large uh, wooden frame that I need to repurpose, and it this well very well could be yeah. made for that piece. Yeah, I just got to cut piece. a piece of plywood going the back of it. 
or so I guess that's what I'll do. It. I'll save this one for another project. Margie agreed. That would look good in a picture frame. Yeah, it would. It would be very beautiful wall art. We saw sure. it on a piece of furniture and it looked really good. Yeah, but... I just don't have that furniture, I guess. So this is the paper that we're going to go with. We're going to decoupage this paper on the back of this seat. And then we're going to paint this that very bright and vibrant green here and vibrant green here. And then you could easily set it on your porch. You could put a little pillow here. You could put some potted plants here, potted plants here, a bucket or something. Like, I think it has all kinds of possibilities. And you know what? It doesn't even have to go outside. It could go in your house <laughs> in like a little corner. Margie gave us a thumbs up. So first thing we're going to do is because I need to decoupage this, I'm going to go ahead and get this piece painted white. And I'm going to use cotton. So that way all the colors in that decoupage paper will pop and come through. So I'm going to paint this one white. Um, the only prep work I did to this piece was I did hit it with a sander. Um, it's raw wood, but I just sanded it. Um, I wasn't trying to get at all of the marks out of it. It's old. It's uneven right through here. And there are some names carved on the top of this desk. So I wasn't trying to cover I those up or that. anything. Yeah, I was just gonna I used let to carve that be my name in the desks. Part, got in of the, for it too. part of the detail, part of the history of it. Um, so I did sand it just with 220 grit pa paper just to make sure I got everything off the top and then I cleaned it up really good. Um, with Sandy, given the age, more than likely it's probably gonna be white oak. It's a pretty wood. I like it. I'm going to try to get this off. Jay said, uh, thumbs up, you guys. Hi, Jay. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just white oak. Based on that. This is a really old one. They didn't use pine for that type of stuff back in the day. And with that raw edge still on there, with a little piece of the bark trimmed off of it, I'm going to say it's oak. Yeah. So I'm just going to... <laughs> Natalie said, don't forget to Vinny the video. Vinny the video. Uh, he, he said that last night. Wasn't it last night? He said, y'all Vinny the video. Vinny the video. Vinny the video. I was like, that's funny. So I'm just going to spray it because this wood is thirsty. Because it has nothing on it. And Beth said, happy to be here. Five minutes in, new subscriber. Jail fight like 20 minutes, lol. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You actually officially hit the seven minutes mark just now. But it's nice to have you, Beth. Nice to have you. Yep, yep. All right, so we're just going to paint this white. <laughs> she said, I vented. Thank you. We haven't had any problems with uh, anybody hopping on and doing anything crazy, but the reason why I set it to five minutes was because uh, somebody that we watched, uh, little Nancy from Little Treasure by Nancy was getting like bombarded in her video with spam bots in one video. And so I was like, ooh, maybe I should turn that feature on. Mm -hmm. Cat said, late to the party, but hey, y'all. Hi. And then Beth said, thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us, Beth. Absolutely. What, right. what, what do they say? More people makes things better or something like that? Yeah. It's the truth. That's why you invite a lot of people out to eat. makes food taste better. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we just got... There's a good possibility, like... I think that one coat will do it. It's a good possibility. Sometimes you got to paint two coats of white, sometimes... Uh, because you want your... You yeah, there you go. The more people, the merrier. The more That's people, it. the merrier, yeah. You want to... Um, you want your back to be bright for that paper, because I want the flowers and all the pink and everything. And even though it is a full-colored print, yeah. You still want it to you have still that pop. Like like I said, I think that the, at the, by the time I'm done with this piece, it's going to be very um, 
vibrant. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Well, I, I think, think so it's going to be definitely a, a a colorful statement piece. I don't think you will have to uh, add much to it, but I think anything is that, that you cotton do, or fluff? This is cotton. Natalie, that's Dixie Bell cotton. This is cotton. Um, it's my go-to usually when I'm doing the decoupage and painting the back of it. And then so, the green we're using is going to be Dixie Bell chalk mineral paint, evergreen. Evergreen. And she's going to clear coat it with flat, probably. Dixie Bell flat. Now, if anybody's ever looking for a truly flat clear, then that's the fl that's the flattest flat I've ever used. So this is the green. Like, it's very, very bright, vibrant. Does the paint consistency vary from color to color? It, it does. It, it does. does. Okay, you, because... It, you probably witnessed that if you've already opened your... Uh, in, she ordered in the navy, right? In the navy. The darker the color, to me, the thicker the paint. So when I painted with that uh, Lucky Lavender purple, um, it, it, it's thinner to me than yep. a darker color. So, and I did use in the Navy um, on a nightstand uh, yesterday. I started painting it with, in the Navy, and I liked it. It it painted really good. It went on really smooth, but I definitely had to have a wet brush and I definitely had to spray my piece down with water um, because of how thick it was. So to me, like this paint isn't as thick, but when you're chalk painting, water is key. Um, it just helps spread your paint and it helps self level out. Like, so that way you don't have any kind of brush strokes or anything like that. And of course, um, a good paintbrush helps too. Beth, uh, the cotton is a bright white. What's happening is auto white balance is turned onto the camera, so it's making it look a little less white. But if you uh, notice at the top, above the, the, there's a darker part in the middle kinda. At the top, that's about the right color. It actually, if you look at the cabinets in the background, that is also painted in cotton. Yeah. So all of our cabinets, that all that's painted in cotton. That makes me feel better. My buttercream is thin compared to the drop cloth. Yes, yes buttercream, buttercream is a thin is, paint. It's thinner than drop cloth. It, you know, I guess it's just uh, the color ratio or whatever that 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 makes it thick or thin. I. Um, I just noticed the darker the color, the thicker it gets, especially when you're um, messing with like the blues and the blacks and the browns. Um, those paints get a lot thicker. So you'll definitely want to make sure you have your water to uh, help spread those out and thin them out. You yes. don't want it too thin, but... Um, Okay, Karen said that makes me feel better. My butter, uh, we'd love to see it. Margie says she loves to see it. Uh, I haven't cracked up the navy. That's tomorrow. Yeah, you're gonna. I think you're gonna like that color. Missy just painted a piece in the navy. I did. Um, and she was really happy with the way it turned out. Which I, it's just a basic nightstand. It's nothing fancy. Um, well, I mean, it's a nice nightstand. It's a basket. Yeah. Um, but it did have some rough spots to it um that we had to fix up and um all i it had the original hardware so all i had to do was um do some repairs to it scuff it up um and then i was able to put two coats of in the navy in it and i just used gilding wax on the handles and i i we did a lot yesterday um and it was just a little bit of a chaos little madhouse <laughs> Yeah, it was a huge madhouse in here. <laughs> so we didn't record any of it. Um, mainly was because I really need to focus on getting my booths um, restocked, is which that is happening uh, later today. All I've taken all at three car loads. Yeah, it was. I know yesterday was forty-seven items that um, we loaded up to the store. So my booths are about to get a whole. Rehaul. What kind of paint brush you recommend using? We recommend using a high quality brush such as uh, Dixie Bell's oval medium, That's Dixie Bell I'm, flat yeah. brush. She's actually using an oval medium right here. 
Uh, Zebra 2-inch uh, Palm Pro is a good brush. Zebra brushes are really good. Uh, um, Purdy, if you have a Purdy brush, those are those are good brushes. Now, you will find that Purdy has a, uh, a pretty good price tag, but with paint brushes, you usually get what you pay for. Now, with Zebra, their brush line is, is really... It's affordable it's for affordable. the quality that you get is amazing because we've been using some of the same brushes for a while with Zebra and uh, back, for, back before we carried Zebra products in our store. we uh, For me, it, I, I have so many, I just kind of grab them because like what? Tuesday night, I used a chip brush and I, don't, I rarely ever use a chip brush, but it was what was there. So that's why I used it. And the, the oval mediums that we use, or the main brushes we use are all synthetic. So as long as you stay away from the cheap, cheap junk mainstays. Yeah, you should brushes, be Brushes, you'll be fine. You won't, you shouldn't have any issue with uh, if, bristles falling out, which is the only reason why I always tell people, get, get you a good brush because you don't want your bristles falling out in the piece. If you're looking to build texture with your uh, chalk paint, the natural bristles yes. work really well. If you're looking for smooth kind of finish, the um, synthetic br bristles like this work well for that. So it's all about that too. Like that matters as far as like what right. what you're looking for because the natural bristles you're really going to be able to build up especially if you add an additive like baking soda or um we use sea spray sea spray it's a dixie, dixie bell paint yeah it's a dixie bell additive that you can just sprinkle into your paint to give texture um, i like to do that a lot to candlesticks and stuff like that because you can you can have flaws yeah you can piece using by texture. building the texture up yeah kind of like a you could even use gel medium if you wanted to to create texture before you painted. I saw a video where somebody was using gel medium to simulate a paint job, an oil paint on a surface. And I was like, "What? Wow, that is a neat technique. What do you want, recommend if you want to paint a chair that you want on the front porch? So you can paint it with the chalk paint and it's just, I was gonna, I'm, I was gonna say that about this piece too. So. Um, if you had a covered porch that where it's not really going to get wet, then, you know, waxing it or sealing it up with a clear coat would work perfectly fine. Um, but with anything that goes outside, it will get weathered. So just keep that in mind. But if you're yep. wanting it to be waterproof, then gator hide is what you need to go with. Yes. So, um, like after all of this is done um, and everything is cured up really good, I could easily go over it the tops and everything go over it with gator hide so that way um, it would be waterproof. So if you're wanting to paint something that's going to get weathered or going to take a lot of water damage, you want to seal it up with gator hide. And gator hide is a very tough product. And it can be hard for us to get sometimes, but we do try to keep it in stock. Well, ever since I reformulated it, I haven't really had a problem, haven't had a problem? Stock, huh? That's good. That's good. Which I do have it on our online store. Yeah. It's in stock at the store and it's in stock online. Yeah. So I really, I am liking this green. I just posted a link, Margie, for the gator hide. I want to refinish my Nana's dresser. It is a circuit 1920. So it's the 1920s era. Mm -hmm. It is pretty worn, so I appreciate the tips and tricks you provide. I am taking notes. All right. <laughs> the biggest thing on old furniture... Hi, Joan. How are you doing today? ...is um, your prep work. And uh, because it's going to be so old, the... That's probably... why we're painting ours. Yeah. She said, hi, I'm from Wisconsin. I actually caught you live, and you're upcycling an old desk like I have. I had ah. it in my booth for two years, and it never sold. 
So I brought it home. Maybe I should paint mine too. That's exactly what we're That's, doing here. Yeah, this has just been sitting here as is. Now, I will say I have moved it all around the store and I've used it a bunch yep. as, as, like to display stuff in. So I really wasn't never upset that it's, it hasn't sold because I've used it so much. But this year I'm really working on trying to get um, what grip new displays. What you use? Oh, that was 220 that's 220. on the sander. There you right? go. 220, yes. Karen. On the old furniture, old, old furniture, if you're going to chalk paint it and refinish it, more than likely from the 20s or something like that, would you say the 20s, the, the finish on it is just probably... It's either gone or it's so brittle. It's that it so comes. brittle that... Y'all remember that video I did where, where I was sanding that piece and... Uh, it was just brown dust coming off. That's, that's usually finish. what happens. That's what happens with the finish from the 20s and 30s. Yeah. It's just usually non-existent. So usually just a really good scuff scan, sand and then a really good cleaning will have your piece ready to paint up. And then if you have to do any kind of repairs like putty in or anything like that, then, you know, you want to do that before you chalk paint it. Yep. So what I think what I'm going to do after I get this decoupage is I'm going to take the green paint hey, Tina. and I'm going to outline this part right here. Tina was at May May's. May May's because she got um, all that stuff restocked yesterday. Yeah. The glue press. I caught May May's live last night. I caught it late. Um but I did watch it, and I thought her little bunny boxes were adorable yeah. with the little ears and stuff. I thought that was so cute. And then I was like, okay, now I got to do something else, bunny. So I can. So it's like competition. Like, how many bunnies can you create? <laughs> how many bunnies can you create, uh, Maymay? Y'all are goofy. Yeah. Now, that's immediately what I started thinking. I was like, oh, I'm going to do another one to see what she does. So we made a bunny. <laughs> Maymay made a bunny. It's so cute. Those little boxes are so cute. The bunny competition. The bunny competition. Sandy said one up in each other. <laughs> <coughs> I would. I don't consider it one up in. Um, I'm just gonna spray some water in this bag, and I'm gonna I stick my brush in that. there. Bunny wars. Bunny wars. Yeah. Because I probably will end up coming back and doing a second coat on this, just touching it up. But I want to save my brush. I saw what happened with that folio, too. With uh, the uh, wood going through it. Wood. We actually had that happen to a box of candy where the pallet broke. Except for the, the wood came down and crushed through... And none of the candy actually got messed up. It was Thank just goodness. the the can the the bob the canisters that they came in. It was so weird. Missy, you better hop to it in hop. quotation marks. I that's not that's true. That's true. <laughs> the new reality show, Bunny Wars in Clanton, Alabama. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh man. You better hop to it. Better hop. The vampire diaries folio. Yeah, yes. that, that's the one. That was perfect. That, I was like, ma'am, that's so crazy at how that came in. Missy was like, how do you think that happened? I said, more than likely a pallet broke. Maybe when they were lifting it with a forklift. Okay. And you wouldn't know if it was in the middle. This is actually a good example of a little bit of bleed through. Yeah. Because you see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. So y'all see the bleed through in the photo. That's why a lot of times we'll use the boss. Yeah. Well, now it's a bonding boss because they mixed in a slick stick with it. I still have some boss left, but I'm fixing to discontinue it from our online store and just go to just the bonding boss. Now, I haven't added a bonding boss to the online store yet, but I plan on doing that this weekend because we got to work tomorrow at the store all day. So it'll probably be Sunday before I get it up. So, okay, no matter how many, if I wasn't decoupaging this, I would have, I would have immediately just stopped and, um, uh, swapped over to either silk yeah, or, uh, I would have stopped and primed it. Um, because no matter how many times you coat this, um, this, the, what do you call it? Tannins, 
tannins. Yes, the tannins the from tannins. the wood is going to come through. So even though this didn't look like it would have been a bleeder, there's no telling how old this desk is and how right. what what's in the wood, really, right? So no matter how many coats you put of DC Bell chalk paint on it, if it's going to be a bleeder, it's going to be a bleeder. You're never going to stop it from coming through. Um, that's where you would have to stop and either prime or... Um, I will say that uh, Silk, Silk has a built-in primer, and I have um, started a piece that I didn't think was going to be a bleeder, found out it was a bleeder, and so I just found the closest match in Silk paint and then went over it, and I didn't have an issue with that. Um, and remember that Silk is just your all-in-one paint. It's your primer and top coat and all that built into it, so you can decoupage over that no problem. Um, it just means that your piece is sealed up. It's a little bit longer dry time because it dries from the top down. And it's a hard paint. And it's a hard finish. So, um, like, if that's what I was going to do, I wouldn't be able to finish this video. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, well, uh, because of the dry time, it takes longer. That's why I really don't use uh, silk on lives because you really do need to paint it and then walk away for a couple of hours before you can come through and do your second coat. We're on chalk paint, you can hit it with the paint gun, heat gun or it dries pretty fast. Um, you do not want to hit silk with a heat gun. You want it to self level itself out. And um, Yes, and that does take a little bit of time with silk. Right, you want it to level itself out so that it can do its thing because it's again it's got your primer and your top coat all built into it so you want it to dry naturally and want it to self level out tina the color is evergreen do That's you like green this color. green <laughs> i don't know if i would have chose this green you did choose it well i mean i chose it for this piece but like to just paint like something a piece of green furniture. yeah i don't know if i would have done that even though I love greens. I don't know if I would have chose it. Beth said it's a pretty springy green. I think so. And when I've been sitting on these papers for what, about a week now? Yeah, week? trying to figure out what we're going to do with them. I was like, oh, I want to use them. There was a couple of more that came in this pack. We didn't really, we just kind of ordered to see. Because sometimes you don't, you kind of don't know. Yeah, you don't know. And it was like a, a basically a grab pack is yeah, what I would call it. Yeah, from Dixie Bell. So we just grabbed it. Um, we just, because I didn't know. And I was like, so if it is, if y'all are interested in these papers, we can get them, right? Is that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, if you are interested in these, just uh, message me on Facebook or send me an email. Yeah, and we can see. And I can see if I can get them ordered. Yeah. Because right now they're going through this big discontinuing of pa decoupage papers, stencils, and uh, I'm gonna hit this with silk screens. Thing. Okay. So Missy's gonna turn her mic off for a second as she heat guns this stuff up. If she can keep it plugged in. But uh, Tina received her deck posh paper. She said, thank you. Well, thank you, Tina. I'm glad that you got it. Uh, some of it didn't go out as soon as I had anticipated. Even though it was uh, sitting there waiting to be just picked up and thrown in the uh, truck to go. But uh, from now on, I'll just take it to the drop it off myself. You live and learn. But yeah, so hopefully everybody's week has been going pretty good. It's Friday. And uh, I like it when the weekend gets here. And we're work, like I said, we're working at the store tomorrow, so that'll be a lot of fun. And Tina, I have a solution about a question you asked a couple weeks ago. I'm going to email you about it. That way, uh, 
uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. You good? Okay. Oh, we're getting hearts, hearts, hearts. Everybody's hearting. It's probably Emily. Tina said thumbs up. So she got what I was talking about. Mm. All right, now we can decoupage. Decoupage, decoupage. The fun time. The fun stuff, yeah. So that way we can see how it all comes together. Hopefully it comes together pretty good. I hope so too. All right. So it's a pretty big oh, piece of paper. Now we get hundreds. Hundreds. I didn't even know you could do, oh. All you have to yeah. do is hover over it. I didn't know that. It's a pretty big piece of paper. So I think you could do, um, I could do more projects with the scraps that's um, left on here because I think that this would be pretty um, with a picture in a picture frame and then maybe like centered out, you could white it out and put one of those bunnies or something in it yeah. for spring or something I, like a mixed media type thing. I think it would be really pretty. So Tina. I want to sorry. go ahead. I want to try to save as much of it as I can without um, cutting myself short. So I need to make sure I come over. Now remember this piece up here is uneven. So what I'm gonna do is <laughs> cut it. Tina said, did you know that scrubby tape, scrubby soap takes glue off paint brushes? Yes. I did not know that. Scrubby soap takes a lot of things off. I love scrubby soap. I love scrubby soap. If I can just bend it. Make my crease. Now, right now, on line, all we carry is lime, and that's because I ordered a huge case of lime because it's my favorite. Um, let's see. I'm not going to be able to find my crease every single time. But at the store, we have a orange and lemon. Lemon, yeah. And then we have some of their bath and body line, too. The goat but, milk. Yeah, goat milk. It's really vera. nice. Well, I think all we have left is aloe. Aloe, yeah. This is where I'm trying to cut. Also, guys, that brush comb that I was talking about and then Man. we did the video, that thing, I can't tell you how much time it actually saves us using that dadgum brush comb. That thing is amazing. I'm just... Can you care. explain how to use the scrubby soap on furniture to clean it? We don't use scrubby soap on the I, actual furniture. I don't. We only use it for cleaning our paint brushes or cleaning our hands after we paint. Um, uh, what we do use on furniture is white lightning. Yeah. Because uh, soaps, soaps like Dawn soap and stuff, sometimes will leave a residue on your paint, on your surface. And, yeah, uh, and you don't want to, you really don't want to. You need a TSP product for a lot of that. And White Lightning's a TSP product. And, you know, you mix it up. If you watch the, that video where I used it, it's, uh, it's easy to mix up. And surprisingly, you could probably, I don't know how much you could get out of that because it's two, table, two heaping tablespoons yeah. for a one-gallon jar. And that, that container probably has, I don't know, probably uh, 20 gallons worth, It'll maybe. last you for a very long time, honestly. Because that's the first time we used a new container. It just so happened to be per perfect timing because I was doing that video on how to use yeah, uh, white lightning. I have lightning. my other containers at the store. That's why we ended up grabbing that one. All right, so... I overcut, of course, you know, so I left that. Um, I don't want to cut myself too short. I want to be able to sand off the edges. Or do I want to wrap? No, I don't want to wrap. Because I don't want to yeah, try to get any wrinkles or yeah, anything it'll try like to that. Bunch. If you try to wrap, guys, it'll bunch up along the corners. So I'm just trying to make sure that my green paint is nice and dry before I lay my paper on there. And 
And then I'm going to use clear coat. to put my paper on and I'm going to grab another brush. So instead of using Mod Podge today, she's using uh, the Dixie Belt clear, clear coat on that one. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Mod Podge is good too. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what you're wanting to do. I use both. I like them both. So we're gonna kind of work this half and half because it's such a big piece. So I'm gonna paint this section. You know what, I'm probably gonna paint it from the top like this and then bring the paper down so I can keep it nice and smooth. And you can use a Ziploc bag or you can use Saran wrap. Um, Karen said, good to know, okay, thanks. If you have a brayer, you can use a brayer. Um, but for this piece, because it does have a, a curve to it, it goes in. It's not exactly level or anything like that. I just wanna, I'm probably just gonna use my zip bag so I can push it. Um, if you use your fingers, uh, you'll, you'll risk ripping the paper is what you'll do. Joan said, during Christmas, you actually painted those adorable Santa designs and turned them into decoupage papers. Did you do the same thing for any other holidays like Easter or St. Patrick's? I haven't. Wait, me or you? No, I haven't. Yeah, you didn't paint any designs, any Santa designs. She's talking about the decoupage paper that I made. Right, yeah. Yeah, we just released our Easter bunnies today. Uh, Missy showed them at the very first part of the video. I'll show them again. And she'll show them off again after we get done with this project. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I do all of our decoupage papers. Right except for the ones that are specifically Dixie Bell, and that'll be in the Dixie Bell section. But on RustEatRelics.com, under Rust Eat Relics Rice Decoupage Paper, I do all that. Mm -hmm. So it, t it takes time. That's why it's been a little slow before I can get the Easter bunnies out, because they were very uh, ornate designs, I guess you could say. And I played with the colors a lot until I got them the way I wanted. It took several layers. But it was fun. Yeah, I'll show the Easter ones again. I don't even know what we did with them. They're right there. And if you're interested in joining our Decoupage of the Month Club, it's eighteen ninety five. Yes. And you get fifteen percent off all your orders. Let me get here. Rustyrelics.com. Join Decoupage of the Month. And you get uh, it sh ships out. Your Decoupage paper will ship out in between. The first of the following, the next month, and the fifteenth. I mean, and the tenth. Sorry. That's, and you have you could actually get this month's papers if you order before the fifteenth. But I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in that. And all the information is there for how it works. And for anybody who's not a member of the uh, the decoupage of the month the regular bunnies from the january release are going to be available for everybody tomorrow so tomorrow's the 10th so that one is will become available to anybody who's not a club member or to uh, new club members who haven't or weren't able to get it when it when it first came out i'm moving this i don't know if i'm i don't think i'm getting it out of shot but and there's a link to the club membership. Judy just says she just now, she just ordered the bunny pack. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the Easter bunnies are cool, I thought. They are. I, I liked playing with the colors and I threw some scroll work in. Luckily, I can use that scroll work again because I actually saved it on its own layer this time. One time I accidentally merged layers, and that was not a good thing. Because once you merge layers, and I didn't notice, save the project, couldn't go back after I closed it out. That was a huge problem. So the, I think um, the white background is actually showing more of the design that's behind these flowers. And the, the design that's behind the flowers, I don't know how well y'all can see it, but it looks like... Um, a uh, notebook paper or old newspaper, you know, just with script on it. Like it says, yours truly and stuff. 
um, it's, it just shows the white actually makes that pop out. And I don't think you could really see that uh, before when it was just regular paper. Re Rebecca, you should have received an email with that information. Uh, let me let me email you again so you'll you'll get it because you may yeah it should have been in your email but if not I will email you right now. Yep, I'm gonna have to do it from a different computer. I have to step away from this computer. You gonna leave me to myself? Oh, it looks so pretty. You well, you won't be left to yourself because I can no. still see the chat. Uh, yeah, yours should arrive soon. The last batch of decoupage paper went out this morning, so the, or the last group of packages, anyways. So you should be you should receive it soon. If it was in today's, you'll probably get it in a couple days. Oh, she says she can't wait to see us in June. Ooh. Coming down in June. That's right. For Craft Acropolis. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and put my top coat over this part. So that way I can make sure that the paper is um, secured down really good to the back. Um, and I'm just using the clear coat for that. Oh, she found it. I was over here fixing this. Send oh, good, 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 good. Good. Awesome. And I'm just spreading it. I'm back. Around. Sandy says she's so sad that she's missing that. Craft Acropolis. Oh, yeah. We still haven't finalized our project. We have not. That we're going to be doing. We cr we did a, uh, well, I'm not going to say what we did, no, but we no. did, we, mean, did sh we did, we did show it. On it. We did show it. Yeah. So. so we're waiting for, waiting for that. We're trying to figure it out. Because you iterate through all these different projects and then you just present them and say, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? You know, will people like this? And so it's like a, we don't know, so we try to do a, a basic, everybody gets together and tries to decide. So I'm just trying to, I might not have got far enough down. Let's see. Oh, I know what's throwing a white balance off is your gray shirt. You think so? Rebecca, we use a laser jet now. There we we used to use a uh, ink jet with aqueous durable ink, but aqueous durable ink uh, is expensive. And it was not, we were actually losing money on every sheet. And we were, it was six, we were charged that back then the papers were six ninety five a piece with the, the laser jet, we were able to drop the price to three ninety five. Plus, I started buying paper in big rolls, and then we cut it manually right here at the house. All right, guys, don't overwork it. Just little let it treasure be. by Nancy said hello, everyone. Hi, Sorry, Nancy. I'm late. Hi, hey, Nancy. Nancy. Don't overwork it. Just let it be. Um, don't stress if maybe your edges aren't all the way uh, glued down because you can always come back through and re-glue those down once you get your excess off. You don't want to roll your excess over because you're going to want to sand this off. If that if that's the look you're going for, you're going to want to sand this off. Um, so don't too much worry about if your um, your edges aren't all the way glued down because you can always go back through and add it. You could have mod podged and ironed this if you wanted to. Yeah. Honestly. Um, it would have been an easy piece to do that with too, for sure. But um, I was liking the deck. I like doing it this way because it does have a curve. 
You know what I'm saying? How yeah. it goes in. Yeah, it does. It, it do, does. It does this like for your back yeah. to sit in. It Tina said, I finished my vase and my knickknacks for my end tables that you made. I shall set them up and put a picture on Facebook for everyone to see. Oh, yay. It came out beautiful. Thank you so much. Awesome. Karen said, that paper is beautiful. I love this paper. Now, if I would have voted, I probably would have went with the birds, but that's just me. But I like the darker stuff, um, and that bird paper is darker, but I'm going to do something with it for sure. I'm glad you you, you stuck with the vote, though, because it's looking oh, pretty yeah. good. I think so, too. And I think that this green does complement it really good. I'm just going to go over this green and give it a second coat. Just to make sure that I got it covered good. Now, if you wanted to distress this um, after it was all nice and dry, that would be easy to do too. And it would just add to the character of it, you know? Yeah, I think so too. The bird paper would be pretty in the back of a cabinet with shelves. Mm-hmm. But then you wouldn't want to put nothing in the shelf because you wouldn't want to cover up the paper. Or I wouldn't. That's my problem with the backgrounds of shelves and stuff. You don't want to cover it up. Hey, Becky, how are you doing today? I like this green. I, I think the more I'm painting it, the more I like it. That's not a surprise, though, because I do love a green. It definitely changes the, the deck. Karen said use clear dishes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what I would do. So just what our dishes are. We That's what we eat off of is clear dishes. Just basic, clear, nothing fancy. Um, we have three teenagers, so <laughs> all my good Becky stuff. Becky says she's doing pretty good. Y'all doing well? Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. It's been a fun, uh, fun week. Fun week. Yesterday, Missy had the house in a huge... I did. I mean, a if I could have done a before and after picture of my kitchen from all the stuff that I painted, it was like, wow. I was a slick sticking machine yesterday. Yeah. I had to do like 16 vases, uh, two metal trays. It was a crazy day. Sandy said, that's Shannon's color. Yeah. Margie said, yep, Shannon loves her greens. Shannon loves her greens, too. Absolutely. The only greens I like is uh, spinach and collard greens. Yuck. <laughs> I like eating those in real life. Ah, second coat paint jobs are always my favorite. The, when you get the second coat on, it just looks so pretty. So satisfying. Yes, I love a second coat. You're, I, so, you're so goofy. I you love, sound like a kid. I love putting second coats on because you can just see. You can see what you're doing. You can almost see the finished project. And I'm really proud of myself at how much paint I do not have. Like on my arms and on my hands. Kat said, I like green beans. Does that count? Nancy said, I made some polymer clay shoes from my crochet doll I'm making for a customer, but the clay was old, and after I baked them, they fell apart. I need to get new clay. I can't, I didn't know polymer, I guess it would, though. Kind of like resin, you know, resin gets old, and it won't cure. It'll yeah. stay sticky forever. We're going to, um... Do you, do you want to tell them about the resin, or the molds that we're going to have? What do you mean? The, the like you could get a pack The of embellishments? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting ready to pour a bunch of embellishments from, from molds, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet, but we're working on it. Because um, I figured if, if I can share with y'all what I have, then. Yeah, that yeah. would be pretty good. We're, yeah. And... In the future, when we do, uh, when we get back to doing online classes, we'll be including stuff like that in I the package be, that yeah. you get. 
I want to be able to include those in because I think that those will be fun for sure. The green beans. The only greens I like are French style green beans in a can, Tina said. So springtime. Yeah. Karen said, when I painted yesterday, I got paint everywhere. Missy did too. She actually had to like scrub the floor after she was done. I was like, what are you in there doing? Because I kept hearing this noise. And we have this electric scrubber that uses a DeWalt battery. She killed the battery on it. So she was like scrubbing the floor. And I was like, what? She's like, I got paint everywhere earlier. I was like, oh. I did all my paint. I did all my slick sticking outside because I don't like the, the smell. So I didn't have to do much of anything to clean up except for throw a brush away. Karen said, y'all don't forget the Vinny that video. What is it Vince says? There's 27 people watching right now and there's only 17 thumbs ups. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cat said Cammy, and then, and then Nancy said, doggy, can I help you, mommy? Yeah. Doggy, can I attack you? Yeah. Can I attack you when you leave the house? Yes. Yes, she can. She doesn't really attack us, though. She's trying to herd us back in the house. She doesn't like it when everybody leaves. Vince is funny. He's hilarious. Because I, li I like that. He'll, he'll just, hold on, y'all. Hold on just a second. And then he'll say, there's 50 people watching this video right now, and there's only 10 thumbs ups. Okay. So I'm like, that, that is right. hilarious because it, it is awesome. Me, I, I always forget about them. I, Missy will say it at the end of the video. Sometimes I'll say it at the end of a recorded video, but it depends. Sometimes I have to add it afterwards as a voiceover because I forgot to do it totally. They almost got 100% uh, thumbs ups last night. So that is awesome. That is awesome. I've been in the video at the, on replay. <laughs> yeah, I was just say, you called the replay. Because you're yeah. like, I can't believe I missed the live. So this one may be, see how it like come up at the corner? That's why I was saying don't stress it though. It's just because there's a curve to this um, paper, this seat. Um, Maybe that's a better view right there. Are you getting it? Yeah. There's just a curve to the seat right here. And um, all I'm going to have to do is just re-bring that down. So what I'm doing is just holding it at the edge to take off my excess. And then I'll be able to take my clear cut and really get make sure that I have all my corners um, done. And then the best way to, you know, remove it is just a piece of sandpaper and then go across the edge and just straight motion. Unless you're like right here where there's a bolt and you can't. <laughs> That's where an X-Acto knife comes in handy. That way you can have a clean edge. Margie says she makes sure that's the first thing she does. The video, Vinny, the video? Yep. Yeah. That's what I usually do too. There it goes. Yeah, I always have to make sure that I, I do that. There's this guy I watch that pours resin all the time. He makes pen. He makes pen blanks. John said, take your scissors it. at the curve and add a slit in the paper to elevate to alleviate the uh, tension. The tension, yeah. It's just, honestly, it's just where it's like, because I, I had the excess paper and I, I didn't want to glue that excess paper down, so I probably didn't have enough clear coat there to make the paper stay down. 
honestly, that's probably what it is because when I held it and I pulled it tight and this one didn't do that, um, it was fine. Yeah, I don't think the curve's big enough. It, the curve that, isn't big well. enough for that yet. It was just, I probably didn't have and, enough and clear cl coat and there. clear coat's a little different to use for applying your, your decoupage than Mod Podge is. It is, it it's is. It's thinner, it dries faster. So you never know that piece, that corner could have dried by the time you laid it down. Yeah, and that, that's kind of the reason why I'm like, well, I was gonna clear coat it today, so that way I liked for y'all to be able to see the finished project. And if this was Mod Podge um, on, I wouldn't have been able to do this. It would have needed to dry a little bit longer because you don't want to risk tearing your paper up. Right. And that's what I was trying to avoid. Because once you get this paper wet with your clear coat or anything like that, it just becomes a lot more delicate. Um, it's easier to bend, but there you go. For some reason, my comments don't show up on Maymay's YouTube and it makes me sad. Oh. I have to watch them on Facebook and miss seeing the comments. Dang. Let's see. I wonder. This one's gonna be a little bit harder, but it should be all right. It could be a multi-streaming issue. I ran into that on my other my 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 other channel that I do. But we don't uh, we're not multi-streaming yet. No. Because I like I said, I had problems, especially with Facebook. Multi-streaming to Facebook and then your comments don't show up on your thing. I have been making sure to share on our store's Facebook page that we do go live. Um, just because I don't think that everybody knows that we are over here on YouTube. So I have been trying to make Nancy's it. right. An Emory board would probably be easier. Uh, to work for on this that part, spot. yeah, because of the tight space i bet kaylee probably has some and um especially for this part because it, it's tight space and it's it's not level like it you know the wood goes so an emery board would have done this one good yeah more than like it could be just a a uh multi-streaming issue uh, Joan said, are you going to distress the paint or don't you use, or do you usually do that? I do uh, distress and that, that's, sometimes it's like, I just wait until after I get it painted to decide. But for this piece, I think a distressing would look nice. Especially with that live edge, if you're not going to mm -hmm. paint that live edge. Oh, I was going to paint that green. Okay. Yeah. So first thing I want to do is just grab a little paintbrush. So I guess the big thing is it depends on the piece, like the navy in the navy piece that Missy did. I didn't distress it because I thought distressed. it just looked really pretty how it was. And the damage, the fixes to the damage are you can't tell, you can't see that we fixed it. So that's what I call a perfect fix. Mm -hmm. And that, rarely do you get something that you fix perfectly. Even though I don't know, I've been doing this for a long time. But with the discovery of Bondo wood filler, that makes life much easier. So I'm just um, hitting where I want to make sure that my edges are all the Margie way down. Margie says I can see my comments, but I ask if anyone else can see them and nobody answers. Huh. Could be a, a YouTube problem, maybe. An unknown bug. Is she on her phone or on her um, laptop? Or do you watch it on your TV? Oh, that's a good question because t I think t TV's di different. Mm -hmm. I know I, I know TV's different in a couple ways. I'm not sure. She watches on her iPad. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be an issue then, unless it's just like I said, it's going to be a YouTube specific issue. All right, so whoop, I'll knock that over. I just um, hit my corner. I love that you have paintbrushes in the kitchen cabinet. <laughs> 
I have paintbrushes everywhere. <laughs> Marge just said it looks beautiful. I like it. Tina watches on her TV and she uses her phone for all the comments. Oh, okay, okay. Let me um, get my clear coat up. Rebecca I said it's just... probably yeah, and that could be that. Rebecca's got a great point. It's because the that there are so many comments they roll by too fast. That could be an issue. That could I noticed be. it on uh on larger channels especially that it goes really quick. It's really pretty. So would you distress it? Me? I probably would just because of the age of the furniture. Right. But what do you guys think? Should she distress it or stick with what she's got? Mm. I'm just gonna use this little brush and I'm just gonna go on my edges right here. Distress it, Nancy said. Distress it. Karen said distress. Rebecca, distress. I think distress, Becky said. A little. A little. I say light. I'm not a heavy distressor. Pam said distress, distress, distress. Yeah. Natalie I'm, said distress. I'm not a... And then a, Tina said, you do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> distress, Judy said. All right, looks like we're going with distress. I can distress it. Because if I, I'll show you how I distress it. I'm hey not guys, that's two stuff. votes today that Missy's followed I through did. on. I followed through. So that's a record. Stars for Missy. Stars for me. What is it that May May says? Gold stars? You get one gold star? No, I say that. We say that. <laughs> no, May May has a thing that she does. Does she have a thing? Yeah. I'll give you a gold star. That, are you sure that's you're not good? Yeah, Karen be? said gold star. Does she? Yeah, because I do gold stars too. <laughs> Useless gold stars. Yes. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> Everybody's posing gold stars. Gold stars. Gold stars for me. Her saying as you get gold stars, but gold stars aren't worth anything. Mm. Yeah, I knew she does she does something like that. She said stuff like that. <laughs> That's funny. You got a, more gold stars. More gold stars. You gold got a gold star me. and a bursting gold star. Ah, nice. A I'm, shooting star. I'm fancy. I don't know. What, the color is showing up different than what it is on the camera. Now, when it's wet, view. it's lighter. Or, you know, when it's uh, dry, it's darker. So I really am glad that these, this color, uh, this is the color we went with because... Maybe I think it looks balance. good. There we go. Auto white balance on this camera too. See if that made a difference. Yes. Okay. Good. Because I'm watching two different screens. One from the feed that we're actually getting here and one from the feed that you guys are seeing. And the feed that you guys are seeing is a little di bit different color than the feed that I got. So I'm trying to adjust color based on that so it looks right. Reinitialize the zoom. There we go. And the base of this desk is actually green. Like well, the metal worked, part. Well, that it's like out. a really dark green. It looks good. Yeah, it does look good. Looking good. You did a good job. I'm happy with it for sure. So um, we'll do it. A, we'll do a quick distressing on it. I'm just going to make sure that it's um, dry before I do that. So I'm just going to hit it with the heat. I think you're going to be setting a record for your, your shortest live ever. Here comes the pup. Yeah. Mad dash. <laughs> Try to bite the heat gun. At least she's not barking so loud. She might be learning the schedule. Maybe. Because last time she barked so loud I had to mute all the mics. Because I was afraid that they were going to keep barking. And once you get the golden retriever barking, you're done. Come here, pup. 
Yeah, here's a good putt. Margie, two laughing emojis. Well, that was fast. Yeah, it is. Right. Now, the, if you were at home. Our golden's name is Sassy. Sassy. If you were at home and you were um, going to distress this, I would highly, highly suggest you wait a um, couple of hours. Let it fully get done. Right. Um, Watch out, but sorry. So that way you can make sure that you can control the distressing. But um, all I like to do is just take um, a piece of scrap paper. And I just would go where it naturally would get wear and tear to it. At least you don't have huskies, Becky said. Yes, at least that. My buddy Doc had huskies. And uh, when he, he came down to visit us for a couple days, and... When he went back home, I'm gonna grab them. all his furniture was chewed up. They chewed yeah. holes in his brand new couches. It was bad. They ate his bed up. Yeah, it was bad. Um, I was like, didn't, why didn't you have a doggy door? He said, I did. Marcia said, oh, no. Yeah. That's what I said when Doc sent me the photos. I think he just come down for like a birthday party or something. Yeah, he only stayed for two days that time. I think it was my birthday, actually. Or was it Emily's? Might have been just one of the kids. Um, DC Bell is not a great uh, wet distressing paint. The only reason why I'm wiping it down is to see where I'm distressed at, and um, it is as long as it's still damp. Yeah, it, yeah, it has to be damp. Yeah, once it's dry, it's dry. Yeah, and I'm just trying to control the dust because you guys, I'm not joking. I literally <laughs> scrubbed this kitchen yesterday. You should show them your fancy scrub. Brushy, machiney. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. <laughs> and it's not that expensive. It's really not. It comes in handy. And it's even like if you were wanting to scrub furniture with it, you could because you can control. Um, it's got these different attachments that let it be like this long. And then it gets to like four foot long if you keep adding the attachments. So the top part has like, um, like Karen said, please share. Yeah, I will. It has um, like a split in the wood right here. So I just take my sandpaper and kind of, uh, let me tear another one because I've kind of gunked that one up with my water. Um, when I like to distress, I just like to go where there's natural wear, like where it makes sense. That's just me. So like there's a split in the wood here. So that would say that there would be wear there, you know, naturally. And then there's a name right here, Walter. <laughs> and then it looks like a Z right here. And then a TL something right here. <laughs> And then another Walter. So I'm going to assume that Walter sat at this desk a lot. So I'm just going to give Walter some character here. I was trying to find a brand new guy, but I can't find it. I'm not going to hit this yet because it's still drying and I don't want to mess up my paper. So for here, we're just going to go over. Nancy said, I made some fabric money on a friend's wife this past Sunday. Ooh. Bunnies are just some. too cute. 
this time of year. I'm working on some spring traps. Yeah, we gotta step our getting our our game up. This ain't the one right here. I thought it was. Can you see the distressing in the camera? Not really. Not really. Let me change angles. Yeah, you can. So you can. I just went around the edges right through here, the back side. You can see on the front, the bottom left corner, really. <laughs> Here, there's a, like a split in the wood. So here, there's another one. So I'm just gonna hit those up. <laughs> Mar Mar Pam said, I did not get on, I did not get to get on in the beginning. Did you say you were making the, this as a plant holder for a porch? Yes, that's my goal. Let's see. I think this is what it would be cute for. And then here you got the natural. There we go. Nancy said the fabric bunnies she did were quick and easy to make. I'm gonna make me some. And then Margie says she thought the one I did with the eyes was really cute. It, was, it is cute. I kept it. <laughs> I kept it. I didn't take it to the store. I finally got a new Sharpie. Yeah. An industrial one this time. That way you can press the tip all you want. You can't ruin that. Uh, all right. Karen um, said you should check out the bunnies that are made with white sock and rice. They split the sock at the opening. Yes. So it's ears. I have a vendor that makes those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She makes gnomes, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is what um, the next step would be sealing it up. So it could be wax or it could be gator hide. So if you do not have a covered porch, um, or if you're thinking that it would get a lot of water to it, um, then you would want to go with gator hide. Uh, but what it needs to do now is just keep on um, drying all the way. Will it hold up in the humidity, Pam asked? Um, yeah, as long as... Um, as long as you put gator hide As long hide as you on. seal it up with the... Yeah, if you're wanting it to be... Weatherproof and waterproof, gator hide is what needs to go on it. So you would just want, the same way that you do a clear coat, you would just put on your gator hide the same way. You would go over this, you would go over your paper. Once it's completely dry, like you want all of this to be completely dry, then you could go over with gator hide and then you could and go over the top. And then of course, this is just cast iron metal. So it's, you know, it's gonna do its own thing, all right? But that's what I think. Like I like it. I, I think it. I think the greens pull from each other, and I think the flowers are just really speak for themselves. Um, oh wow! Nancy sent us a picture on Facebook of them. They yeah. are super cute. Check are they? Out. Oh, those are cute. So I got one little pot. Let me. I'm gonna. But at the, the store, image. I have some more planners and stuff like that. That's kind of where I was going with it. Um, I just wanted to put my planners on there and then maybe a bunny and stuff. Just display it up really cute. But um, once I get it to the store and everything, I am going to put a price tag on it. And But I want to seal it up first. These are the bunnies Nancy made. They're cute. They are cute. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Turned that's... out really cute. Turned out great. Lovely. Love it. Love it. Um, Cor corgi face. Yeah. <laughs> corgi face. Um, let's see. You want me to show them my... This is my scrub brush. Yeah. She's going to show her scrub brush. This is now. my scrub brush. Which camera you got? Which I got one? you on the front, the front camera. Can you see it? Yeah. So it's got a drill. It's got a 12-volt drill battery thing on it. It's got a head and it goes slow and Cammy's coming and high and it just spins and then it has different heads it's got soft bristles yeah it's got, uh hard bristles so depending on what you need to get and then it has um it has a uh, more parts to it so you can make it even longer or whatever if you need to um 
gosh, this turned out so smooth. I wish y'all could feel furniture. <laughs> Feel it after I get it all painted. It's just so buttery smooth. And that, that, that's Missy's thing. It needs to be super smooth when she's done or she's not going to like I'm it. I'm not going to be happy with it if it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, do you want me to show them the, in the Navy real quick? Uh, you, can, still... you, can, you can if you want to. I'll show y'all that in the Navy real quick that I painted yesterday because I know... And I'm going to share Nancy's channel with everybody just in case they don't know. Yeah. Let me. And Margie said, please show it to us. Okay, that's in the Navy. My desk is currently sitting on my por front porch, too. Unfortunately, even though it's a covered porch, it's still got covered with snow a few times, depending on which way the wind was blowing. Yeah, you'd want to use something like a gator hide or a yeah. uh, spar varnish. The problem with spar varnish is it's going to turn yellow because it's actually made for like doing boats and outside furniture. But yeah, that's in the navy, so it's it's really close to black, but you can obviously tell that it's a dark dark blue. Yeah, it's. Um, she reworked the handles so they weren't brass anymore. Yeah, this They're, is the uh, original hardware. This is just with gild and wax. Gold gild and wax. I just paint the gild and wax on, and then I let it sit overnight, and then I take a microfiber cloth, and then I buff it and any of the excess comes off, but other than that, it's it. Nancy said, I love that table. I Marjorie think it's said, just, beautiful. Yeah, it's just a real simple table. I mean, like, it's the, it's just two coats of In the Navy, and then I sealed it up with um, Big Mama's Butter because that's yep. what I had right right next to me, and then I gild and waxed the... Um, Word of caution, if you use big, big a lot of Big Mama's butter at one time in the house, it will, it, it's it's pretty powerful. Right, it'll smell, yeah. So, But it smells good, but it is, it does have a smell. So if you're sensitive to smells, that's it. So, yep, I did this yesterday. So it's just sitting, and then I'll finish this up. And, show and the, then the rice I'll show paper. you um, one more time before we go. Am I good? Yeah, you're, you're clear. Okay, these are the bunny um, rice papers that are rusty relics. Uh, you can buy these online. They're $18.95. For the five pack. For the yeah. five pack. And you'll get all five of these images. Um, these are for anybody, right, to order. These are not members. Yeah, these are for everybody. Yeah, these this are not This is just the Easter release. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I... I, first off, right off the bat, I know what I'm going to do with one is um, we have those hideaway boxes. Um, I'm definitely going to do the front of one of these. With that, I think it'll be very pretty to sit out for Easter. Margie, you have a great weekend, too. She Bye, said thank Margie. You for yeah, thank you. Karen Thanks said, will you please share the brand of the scrubber? Uh, yes, I will. I like that that one right there. I like so much. I think I went through all five of them. Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah. But that's these. So you can get those on our website. Thanks, Judy. You have a good day. Thank you, Judy. Um, Work's calling her name. She's got to run. I understand. It's not showing up. It's, what? you look at it. It is D-E-I Hong. DEI <laughs> Hong. And it's not a 12 volt battery. It's a 21 volt lithium ion match. Oh, did I read it backwards? Yeah. yeah. It's the same it's the same battery as my D Walt. It's the same yeah. layout and everything. But yeah. That's good. That's it. And then No, it has, Donna, those are for everybody. That's not for the club. The it has club. more arms so it can be longer and shorter. And then it has a bunch of different heads. I just usually always use this one. It's really handy. I Tina, used it on this floor. Tina said, can you show the bird paper? The bird paper. The birds. I might um, I might not have all of them um, because I've been using them, and I know we took some to the store. Well, the ones at the store are gone already. Yeah. Um, Tina, I might not be able to show them. <laughs> I might not have them. Paint. Nope, not Dixie Bell paint. 
I'll have to show them probably here on the share screen, basically. I have this one. I have this one and this one. This one, this one, this one. I think that's it. I think I've used the other ones that I had laying. Yeah, that's so all. So here's have. what I'll do. I'll just show them. I'll, I'll share my screen. That's Come what I'll have to do. Let's do share screen, window capture. It's just black. There we go. Yeah, I knew it was going to be black for just a second until I could get it. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's a the, fat bird. <laughs> He's cute. And one of them's not load. One of the images isn't loading. It's a five pack bundle. I like that one a lot. I love him. Yeah, this is the one that's not loading for some reason. Okay. So I can show him that. Yeah. I'm going to switch you back to live view. This one's, for some reason, the one image isn't loading. It may be because we got too much going on with our mm -hmm. live stream. But this is the other image. This is the one I did have on, on hand. So that's a, it's a five pack of birds, right? Yeah, it's five pack of birds. That's five the fifth image right there. Sandy They're said really we pretty. prefer chubby to fat. Tina said thank you. Yes. Not a problem. And I actually don't have any of the January, I mean the February release decoupage club papers right. on us because Missy used several of them during what she was doing yesterday. Right. But I can get an image of those up online. I think I sent an image of them out in a newsletter. All right. I think that's it for today. That is all I got. I got to seal that up and then it's done. And then this is obviously done. I just wanted to show y'all in the navy because um, it's a pretty color. In the future, we'll do a, a video that just show, that's on our site that's just decoupage a month. And then we'll put the... That way everybody can see it. Yeah. We're not constantly... Throwing it in your face every video. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to burn y'all out on Yeah, that. most yeah. definitely not. That'll be it, I guess, right? Yeah, that's all I got. All right, if guys. Thank y'all for... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for helping me pick out a paper and uh, just being with me as I go along through the process. If you haven't already, make sure you thumbs up the video. Um, don't forget to hit the notification button so you can be notified when we go live. And if you haven't subscribed and you're just here, don't forget to subscribe. And that's it. If y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to email us or message us right here on yep. uh, YouTube or message us on Facebook. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Tuesday night.